Karen with Volt and Metals, you have gallium, which is one of the most exciting critical minerals in the world, and of course, rare earths. Can you tell us a little bit more about Volt and Metals and why we should all be watching for what you do next? Thank you, Tracy, for having me and great intro. Um, yeah, Volta Metals, we're focused in critical minerals. We are focused in Ontario. Um, one of the main mandates we had when we started the company was have good quality projects, of course, yes, but have the projects with road access, okay? Not only for more efficient and cheap and year-round exploration, but also the cost to get them into production down the road, not just exploration. Look, we have board members, including myself, we've worked in production, taking projects into production. So we understand the value of that down the road. So all of our projects are road accessible. Now, the recent one we acquired is Springer Rare Earth Projects, which has very high grade, a lot of gallium. So that excites us. So of course, we know gallium is used in AI, uh, semiconductors mainly right now. And, uh, and all the other electronics and everything else we use. So it's, it's very, very, uh, very critical as China put restrictions and so forth. But what's exciting is the mineralization is on surface. We have the surface rights, but the infrastructure, we talked about the road access, this paved road access right off the main Trans-Canada Highway. But there's also two hydropower dams within six kilometers of that deposit. The power lines go through the project and uh, and they only drilled, we have 43 101 resource, they only drilled down to 160 meters vertically and every borehole hit mineralization. So it's very exciting and uh, no radioactivity. It's, it's really good deposit. So that's, I guess, that's the summary. And of course, you recently announced a deal, a partnership with Idaho National Laboratory to advance your metallurgical work. Can you tell us a little bit more about how that deal was made? Because that is, of course, a very impressive partnership to announce. Absolutely. Uh, look, every rare earth project is different. The most important part is how you are you going to process it and can you really recover it effectively? So we did initial work uh, during our due diligence process, really extensive metallurgical work in a lab scale. The next steps need to happen as well to understand a little bit more, even though we had good uh, positive outcome from that work. Now, National Laboratory of Idaho comes in a good time because that's that's what they're going to do next. And uh, this partnership came about um, from our chair, uh, Mark Cruz's contacts. And uh, they looked at the mineralization. They're very familiar with ty that type of deposit as they did work for Mountain Pass, um, which, which you know, it was fruitful for DOD to invest in Mountain Pass. And uh, they understand the gallium recovery. They're, in Mon they're looking for gallium and rare earth projects to work with. So um, they're excited as much as we are. And it's a partnership in a way that they're going to do those work for us um, at this stage without any expectations. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's very exciting. In addition to excellent infrastructure, you also have a competitive advantage with your drilling. You have both drilling experience and an amazing uh, budget for how you can do this drilling. Can you tell us more about that? Yeah, so uh, yes, thank you. I, uh, I ran a drilling company and I ran a drill. Uh, so did a drill bit, uh, started a drill bit company, we sold it, uh, etc. So I understand the ins and outs and the pricing and everything else. Um, we were fortunate enough to get a really good cost in our last drilling on our uh, lithium, cesium, tantalum and gallium projects uh, a year, just over a year ago. We're confident we're gonna get a good drill rate again. Um, one of the things obviously is the infrastructure that makes it easier and cheaper because of access and year round drilling and so forth. So we believe we, we will keep it as low as last time, uh, if not better at this at this time. Uh, but look, there's a lot of targets we can drill, but we're going to start um, with the high, high, uh, pro uh, high priority targets to drill initially and uh, potentially update the resource with gallium um, because there's a lot of gallium in there. You've had a lot of positive 
reception from the market with your recent news. Can you tell us what we should be looking forward to in the next quarter? Absolutely. Look, we just acquired this project. We haven't done any field work um, that that would advance the project, apart from the obviously the you know announcement of uh, metallurgical work that's underway. Um, we are going to hit the ground. We're going to hit the ground and drill and update the resource. This resource was done just over 10 years ago. Really good numbers with, like I mentioned, only surface, surface drilling, just a little bit on the surface and every hole hit mineralization. You can keep drilling. There's a lot of targets. So um, I'm glad the market reacted. Obviously, that's just the beginning um, with macro level. What's happening as well, I think is helping with the momentum. But when, once we start drilling, I think um, we're going to start unlocking some of the value as we move forward and advance the project a little bit more. Of course, for those of us that follow the critical mineral sector, you have some of our favorite and your smorgasbord. You have the rare earths, lithium, gallium, tantalum, cesium. Dare I ask you what your favorite is currently? That's a good question. Uh, it's I guess it's like uh, having kids, but um, not. I wouldn't pick a favorite, but what I see as the most valuable at, at this time is gallium. Look, what we know what's happening with gallium. Uh, I hope uh, for, for the ones that don't know is gallium is coming on because of AI data centers, but AI mainly gallium nitrate and gallium arsenide uh, is, is uh, sorry, gallium, um, gallium nitrate is coming on as to speed up the AI process for semiconductors. That's partly why I believe China put restriction. US have, has zero production of gallium and uh, China controls it. So there's a lot of, uh, you know, separation of East and West. We rely on this element as well as rare earths predominantly out in our lifestyle in the West and, and more to come. So um, you look at gallium price, even it was around 150, 200 for a long time since last, uh, you know, quarter of last year, it's been going up every single day. It's over $1,000 per kilo. So I think there's a lot to go. And uh, I think West is, Western governments are realizing its importance. That's partly why, you know, we see what we're seeing in the market. But um, I think that's probably the, the, where, the, where the biggest value at the moment is. Well, you heard it here on Investor News. For more information, please go to the following website. And of course, Karen, thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me.